coaching is a way to have a conversation with someone who has the the skills and the ability to draw out from you what works for you, what's getting in your way, why are you not doing the things that you say that you want to do, that you genuinely do want to do, but there's resistance to it, there's um, stress around it, or you try to and you just can't make it happen, or why are you struggling with certain things that you're, you're doing, but you don't want to do them, but you can't stop yourself, you can't get away from it. Um, It can be a way to figure out what it is that you really want in life. How do you make things better for yourself? And not doing it the way that works for someone else, but the way that works for you specifically. So you can come to a coaching session with something in mind that you want to figure out. Um, it might be this thing happened recently and I had this really big reaction to it and intellectually I know that it was out of proportion but I don't know why and I want to figure out what happened there or maybe there's something stressful coming up and you want to diff want, want to work with it in different ways than you have in the past maybe there's um, something in your life that you just want to make better communication with a partner or at work or um, how to to figure out what's you and what's the mask um, what kind of accommodations could you request that would actually be useful and how you have actually have that conversation that you're dreading and can't get yourself to to, to actually have to request the accommodations um, it could be any number of things those are common ones um, but whatever it is that in your life you're trying to make better so we can work through that. If you're not exactly sure what specifically you want to work on in a particular session, I can help you narrow it down. It's usually pretty easy to find something juicy. So how I do sessions. Usually you'll start by bringing whatever issue it is that you want to work through that day or we figure it out together. And then I'll start by inviting you to tell me more about it. What's going on? What are the thoughts that come up? Maybe what kind of body reactions, physical sensations you notice when you're talking about this? Um, what emotions come up? If those things are difficult for you, I can help you figure them out. Um, if they're triggering, we don't have to go there. But I'll try and Ask questions, ask powerful questions that will help you get to the things that are happening underneath the surface, not just the things that are happening, but like why it's happening, why you're reacting this way to when she says that, or why when they say the other thing, you have a meltdown, like why this is overwhelming, uh, why you shut down in this situation, whatever it is that's going on. And if you go off on tangents, that's totally fine. I actually find that really useful, even though people apologize for it all the time. You don't need to. But your mind made a connection to this thing or that thing or the other thing. And I see my job is trying to figure out what those connections are. Like, why did this make sense to your brain? Why did that make sense? Why did this come up in your mind? And put all of the different pieces together. And when I have a hypothesis about what's going on underneath the surface, I'll present that to you and invite you to tell me where I'm wrong. I don't need to be right all the time. And you know your life better than I do. So we'll start with that and, and refine it together until it feels to you like, yeah, that's it. That's what's really happening here. And then depending on what that is, we can work with it in a variety of different ways. I have lots of different strategies and tools. And we might be able to dissolve it or question it or resolve it or free it up in some way. Um, it might involve 
a more thought-based, like questioning the painful thought that's underneath there. It might be like talking to your your younger self if you're open to that. Um, there could be a variety of different things that we could do with it. And when it feels like it's getting resolved, like it's getting freed up, then so many things change at that point. Often your body will feel open or lighter physically. Uh, your brain starts working in new ways. New options become available. As we work through this, it frees up a lot of energy and your prefrontal cortex starts turning on all the way again and the right hemisphere of your brain that's creative and problem solving in, in outside of the box ways starts being able to, to use all of its resources again. And often what happens is the way forward will seem a lot more obvious to you. It'll very naturally come back to that original situation that you started with and you'll know what you want to do about it. And at that point, the practical stuff, the strategies and tools can become useful and we can get into that and make them make plans for it, make ideas, strategize, refine it. And those are the plans that actually turn out to, to work. Like you'll actually do those kinds of plans now that the underlying situation is, um, isn't getting in your way anymore. So the difference between therapy and coaching, at least the way I do it. I find it useful to acknowledge that there are reasons why we're doing the things that we're doing, why we're repeating certain patterns over and over even though we know they're not helpful, or why we're resisting certain things even though we know it would be helpful, the areas where we get stuck in our life, um, the things that we can't figure out what's going on there. There's a reason for all of that. And I find it useful to figure out what that is, like where that's coming from. And it might be that this thing happened when you were six, for example, and it's still affecting you in certain ways that may not be super obvious. But whereas therapy is gonna go into that situation and be like, okay, this thing happened when you were six and let's get in there and unpack that and, and like heal the experience itself. What I'll do is to acknowledge, hey, that thing happened when you were six, and here's the lesson that you learned from that, or here's the belief that you took away, and that belief is still affecting you. Let's play with that belief, that lesson that you learned from it. And so I wanna play with that, that lesson. I'm not gonna tell you what to do or tell you what I think you should do or what I would do in your place, because I'm not in your place. You know your life and the situation better than anyone else, and you're the one who will be living with it. What I can do is to help you figure out for yourself what you actually want and what you need, not what other people tell you you should want or what should work or what would be a good idea. It doesn't matter. Any of that doesn't matter. What matters is what actually matters to you. And I can help you with that. I can help you figure out how to make decisions, how to listen to yourself and trust yourself. And when you do, you'll make the best decision. So most people find that working with me on a regular basis is really helpful, especially at the beginning to gain some momentum. About every two to three weeks works well for most people. Um, some people wanna work weekly, but to be honest, that can get kind of intense. And some people wanna just do it once a month or once in a while when they have something particular to work through, and that's totally fine. That works especially well after we've been working for a while and you're getting familiar with the process and have been incorporating that into your life more often and just need some help working through the especially sticky stuff. So when we're working together on Zoom, you are very welcome to stim, fidget, tick, doodle, take notes, eat or drink, look away from the camera, 
I don't mind any of that. Do what you need to do to feel good in your body and in your mind. You'll notice that I often have a, a fidget toy or a stem with me and I always have a weighted blanket on my lap that helps my body relax. And if the Zoom thing doesn't work for you, we can do it just over the phone. That works fine too.